What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire at all. Let's play as Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we are attacking, well we were sieging the city of Copenhagen and the garrison has come out to play and attack our force before we've had quite as much time to, uh, re to uh, reinforce as I'd like. So I'm going to deploy back, use my massed firepower to break their lines and then use my dragoons to sweep around the flanks and knock out their artillery. Yes, we need to be careful. We need to be very careful because we need to maximise uh, the value of every Bavarian soldier. And part of me wonders if uh, the Austrians are done for. It's definitely possible. So let's deploy a bit further back because they have mortars. We want to use our artillery to their fullest capability possible. We want to hunker down and we want to engage the enemy with massed musketry which they can't beat us with as well as exploiting our cavalry advantage at the right moment. So let's make sure our guns don't waste their time. Okay the mortars are firing that's not good at all. Focus our artillery fire onto their mortars. Oh, we got a couple of mortar garrison units. I forgot about that. Right, okay. In which case... Infantry line, push up. Then... Doesn't... I'm not overly bothered about it, but I mean, we can't really afford to... Uh, take too many losses from their artillery. So much so, I might actually get my guns to focus on their artillery first. Yeah, we knocked out one of the, mort one of the uh, mortar crews. It's pretty good. Okay, right, so... You men hit the Dragoons, you men hit the Dragoons, you men hit the General's Bodyguard. You hit the Regiment of Horse, you guys push all the way past and go for their guns. So the General's Bodyguard has charged in here. You men drop into square... yes, drop into square. Very well. If they don't want to fight, then neither do we. You men push the flank, you men go for their guns. Enemy cavalry has been decisively defeated. Bring the bulk of my cavalry into the centre because it looks like they want to bayonet charge us. You men go after their gunners. And surprisingly, surprisingly, actually, one of our units is starting to rout. But you men charge into the armed citizenry. You guys charge into their militia. You men go after their regiment of horse. Bring the cavalry forward. Okay, you guys have come back, as you should, like the brave Bavarian fellows that you are. Let's start to pick off some of these units in the center get our infantry to mass once more you men limber up the wild dragoons hit the regiment of horse that's a unit of militia shattered push onto that regiment you guys go hit the infantry here to support that unit of wild dragoons there you go you men have knocked out that militia unit Push on into the 4th Regiment, keep the snowball going. 4th Regiment are wavering, 1st Regiment are wavering. Okay, 
pivot our line. We haven't really seen much action from our infantry, but in a way, that's quite promising because it means we don't actually have to... Well, relying on your infantry is great when you've got a serious amount of it. You guys go after that militia, you guys go after that unit, you guys get over here, get yourselves involved. So that unit of regiment of foot should probably route. You men hit the fifth. Everyone's just scattering to try and kill as many Danes as they can. We definitely want to take out as many as possible. Ideally focus on line infantry first, but I don't think we're going to necessarily get that opportunity. Just kill as many men as you can. That second regiment there would be good pickings. Uh, where are the gun crew? Because that's not them. I'm not sure where they are. Fourth regiment are going down. Only two men left. Only one man left, and there he is. I think the gun crews are going to escape. Go on, knock out the fourth regiment. There we go. I'll push and attack the first. You shouldn't get too many hits from friendly fire. The second regiment are going down. Actually, you guys both help the first regiment. You guys cease fire. There we go. you try and do some damage to the militia you should hopefully kill the fifth before they get too far good everyone go after this militia unit as much as possible and then get over here and attack the first regiment of foot garrison line cease fire the guns Good stuff here. Decisive victory over the Danish garrison. But we are going to want to be steady with this one. Oh, they've only got 650 men left. Mm, here come the Danish fleet. 610 cash. Not a huge amount. 2,000 isn't a lot either. I don't know if it's worth fighting to protect the uh, Austrians here. I think we've got to. If we don't do it here, they will fall. So I think we've got to just be within the region. We've got 2,000. I think the best bet. An extra 400 region wealth. An extra 100 region wealth. I think craft upgrading this craft workshop is probably the best bet. Then tack on. Oh, you guys are still replenishing, but I think you probably yeah, you need a bit more. Keep the shipyard raided. You men push on to Dresden. We'd like to do something about the Dutch, but I don't think we can. Make sure we're trading with the French again. And I'd like to peace out. But they're not going to let us do that. Uh, right. So in terms of tech, I think I probably want to go for farming's a, farming's good, but I think I just need more money. Social contract helps to get the plus three per turn to town wealth growth, which, as we know, is very powerful in the long term. Brandenburg, you've got a few troops in recruiting or being recruited. You're going to stand to contribute to, to contribute to the defence of Vienna. 
It remains to be seen if it will make a difference. Ah, Austria's sallying. I mean, to be honest, most of these units are junk. But then again, so is the Austrians. Let's do it. Let's get involved. Let's get involved in supporting our Austrian allies, because at the very least, uh, every enemy we kill taking the city of Vienna, well, enemy, every enemy we kill in their quest to take the city of Vienna is an enemy we don't have to kill. Um, probably does mean I want to bring my this force. If it lives, probably wants to go west to act as a blocking force. Okay, I can't help out. I'm coming in from over here. Well, I can't deploy, so my guys are quite far away. So let's just speed up time. Let's not make anyone run onto the field yet. Just let my guys form up. We don't have many units, but we can push the right flank. The Austrians are... well, I should keep an eye on what the Austrians are doing. Sending some cavalry. They've got reinforcements on the flank as well, which is not great. But let my guys walk onto the field. That, that unit should be the last unit. It is. Very well. Make them run. Provincial cavalry are scouting the enemy troops. They do have bayonets. There's not a lot we can do, though. Hopefully their artillery is opening up. The field artillery is opening up. But my infantry can't do anything more than run, which isn't great, because I don't I don't want to say the Austrians are going to do a bad job. Well, they've broken a unit of Muslim. Broken unit of Israeli. And remember, we are attacking, so we can't just run in and defend the city either. Should really watch. Swiss liner engaging here. The pikemen are doing quite well against the Israeli. Ooh, Provincial Cavalry going to charge the Janissaries. We can try and help out. To be honest, they're doing pretty good. Actually. Despite my... Claims. Let's charge this Janissary unit with my Militia. Because the sooner we get the Militia unit killed, the sooner the Provincial Cavalry gets into the action elsewhere. To be honest, they're actually doing quite well. They might... Yeah, they are doing quite well. You men charge the Janissaries. You men push past. Uh, you men push past. Ready to fight against those troops. My commander, who is in this militia unit, has fallen. But, critically, we've managed to break this unit quickly, which allows my force to continue to push. To be honest, when the reinforcements come in, Austria's done quite a good job. Israeli are not great, and they might not have a huge amount of units, but you know they've got mortars in the city, which, for the AI, do really well. Okay, you units. Okay, let's actually take you three to push up here. You four push this area here and clear the, the battlefield of Ottoman troops there. The Swiss pike unit is going to be incredibly helpful. You're chasing away the Janissaries, drawing away some Azar as well, which is quite handy. God, they, they're doing really well. You did it, yeah. Definitely made the right call here. 
Austria's done great. The question is, where did their reinforcements come in again? Somewhere over here, I'm fairly sure. The thing we've got to do now is to make sure we don't actually make things worse for Austria by um, killing their troops. Maintain the push. Well, we maintain the push. I haven't really done anything yet. My guys have engaged and cleared off that unit of Azar. Bring some militia over onto the left. Push my infantry line forward. Yeah, they've been knocked out. Push forward against the Israeli. We weren't even needed. Aha! Enemy reinforcements. Push my guys up towards the enemy battle line. The Israeli here have been wiped out. Advance up to that section here. They better remember this kindness we've done them. <laughs> we might not be have been pivotal, but we were here. And the longer we hold the city of Vienna, the sooner the great faction of Austria can rise again. Ooh, hello. Israeli. I th I'm sure- I thought you guys routed. Let's make sure you guys don't charge them with bayonets and instead form up. You men try push forward to a piece of clear space. So ultimately, these guys with their volley fire should be... Well, you guys want to get out of the way. Hello, Israeli. Finally, someone we can shoot. Go on, 14th Regiment. One guy got very keen. He hasn't even fired. Go on, you men. Fire! Might cause them to rout in less than one action. One more volley, that could be. Yep, yeah, there they go. The Azars have made my guys upset. Make sure you guys aim at the Azar specifically. Oh, this is my Freikor, who look smashing. It's not their actual... Uh, it is their first engagement, I think. Run this infantry unit around the chaps there to make sure they do. Make sure I surround. Because Janissaries are still scary. My guys are going down quick. And my militia is actually wavering and they haven't even been involved. My militia have to break their jan Janissaries quickly. There we go. My infantry have been shot in the back. If you guys can make the Israeli break, that would be smashing. That relies on the 4th Regiment doing most of the damage. There's unit of Bashi Bazooks coming up towards the rear. It's the end of them. 
Okay, so I think you guys are going to form a line, ready for the bashy bazooks to get in. Where my whole force? Form a line, ready for the bashy bazooks. So I think that's all of the enemy reinforcements in here. There's a unit of Azar, but Austria is mobbing them. Yeah, their pikemen have really saved their bacon. Yeah, they're going to get mobbed. Swiss line, provincial line, mercenaries, mercenaries, general's bodyguard. Yeah, let's just speed this up because ultimately I don't think we're going to see a... We're not going to be that involved. Yeah, they've both been knocked out, so these bashies are the last unit on the field. And these mad lads, the mortar garrisons are chasing them down. Huh. Not a bad outcome. Ultimately, they might keep them there. Oh, 4,000 Ottomans were repelled as well. Good stuff. I mean, they may end up falling to Poland... Especially if they do dumb stuff like that. But no, that's something we can work with. We can work with a small force holding Vienna, or supporting Vienna. We do need to begin offensive operations against Poland, however. Especially if they're going towards Prague. Uh, a grand friend of my husbandry, go on. They're allied with Denmark, sure, but they're also allied with France. So, yeah, let's keep them on side, especially if they're going to pay us money. Port I don't like the fact that Portugal's built up an army on board ships. So, first things first. You guys go forward and mop up that Polish force there. Then you can get back to... Vienna and recover your losses. We've got about, we had just north of five grand that turn. So you men can they replenish as well? Two thousand. How's Germany doing? Plus two. Okay, they can just about deal with a school, I think, in three turns. In terms of everything else, I think I'm gonna leave it as is. Don't want to attack Copenhagen. Two turns to surrender and we've got... Actually, they're on the ropes. Let's just take the city, because at least it will be a... Uh, another territory taken. More ports, actually. More ports for trade. But we will want to immediately occupy those ports to make sure that no one can use them for a rapid invasion. At the very least, forcing them to land off of the coast gives us a turn. Deploy my line infantry like so. My cavalry is going to deploy as one giant brigade. Ultimately, <laughs> very, very small force. Spread my line infantry out a bit more. They have no artillery, so I don't really want to go too mad in losing too many troops to their counter-attacks. My artillery, just get them to focus on the troops inside the fort. Well, inside the garrison. They're shattered. Okay. I'm going to speed this up, because they're advancing towards my line. We'll mow them down. <laughs> yes. Yes, Denmark. This is what happens. If you didn't declare war on me, Denmark, this wouldn't have happened. This was not a war of my doing. This was not a war of my choosing. This was a war because you guys can't chill out. Deploy this unit on the flank into square, just in case the 1st Regiment of Force gets ideas. Everyone else 
Make your muskets ready and engage the enemy. Yeah, these guys should be under fire from the flank. Yeah, they are. Cavalry's coming in to charge the 11th. Yeah, they've hit my square. We've broken through. But ultimately, we've got a lot of guys with muskets. It's funny, really. We've clearly penetrated the square, but everyone's like, eh, don't worry. Chill out. Yes, Denmark. You men fall. You fall now. Third regiment, second regiment is wavering as well. Cavalry just had a nice little exercise. Now it's all on to the third regiment of foot. Garrison line. Popping off shots one by one. We'll never meet beat them the mast volley. The cavalry, you see, they've slowly been picked apart, even though they're in my centre. Because, uh, yeah, attacking squares of cavalry is bad, okay? I'm hoping this unit routes before these guys recover, if they do. Because that would be silly to have all my cavalry wandering around not chasing these guys down if they decide to come back. But well, there we go. The city was taken. We have a university in Denmark, but we're not going to keep it. Because the city of minus seven, if we get rid of that, it's minus five. Well, it becomes minus two. Let's repair the opera house first, because that will get us some immediate um, goodwill. But let's take a cavalry unit, run around to our hoods. Minus eight will become, will become minus three which will become minus two, because we'll also lose a resistance to foreign occupation um, counter at the same time. But there we go. So, ooh, possibilities for trade, because Ahuz is a functioning trade port. So, I want to get some trade with the colonies in New Spain. Yes, please. Louisiana. Yes, please. Because you're protector of France, so I want to be good with you also. There we go. So that's two trade routes. Or two extra trade routes. Actually, that might not be because of this port. Being blockaded, though, by the Danish. I don't think we're going to get... Okay, right. Peace. Nope. Just got to hope that Sweden, who we are allied with, takes them out. Let's hit in turn, because we have no money. Austria sending more troops... So the front, ideally I'd like to take Breslau, and if I took Breslau, I might even give it to Austria. But I do want to form a force to the east that can push against Poland, but I think we might want to just build up a, well it depends, like that force there that's pushed against us, we might want to sally out and engage them head on. Because ultimately we can't let them really mess. But let's see how we're doing from the economy side. Oh, Sweden. Yes, please. And they offer me a thousand for the privilege. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's really good. So how much are we going to get next turn? What's our treasury going to look like? Oh yeah, because now we're trading with the new Spain. We actually see pirates. 5,700, so the workers are on strike. Let's work at repairing these buildings here. A dense. Okay, right. Four grand. First of all, spend two on a weaver's cottage upgrade. You guys are already replenishing. Maybe we want to add a bit of 
Don't want to oh, I don't want to recruit anything down here except for maybe some more interesting cavalry. Maybe not too much, because I want to recruit. So what have you got? Some cavalry, skirmishes, line infantry. So I'd have to mass. That's a it's not that's not great. Can you guys recruit a grenadiers are interesting? 700. Next turn. You're nearly finished social contract. Maybe let's get my agent out of Venice, because I don't want to wind them up too much. Let's maybe go down to Belgrade. You've been intercepted by some Austrian troops. Zagreb is still fortified, but they're unhappy. Okay, we're going to be leaning on my infantry a lot for this, but I'm counting on them not being necessarily in the best shape. Can't bring those troops in from the south. We're going to have to try. Yeah, their infantry's not in great shape. Like, we have to be, we're going to have to shepherd our militia quite a lot because their cavalry is the biggest danger, so I might alternate Militia line, militia line, militia line. Push up. Try and suck their cavalry into fighting my squares wherever possible. <laughs> well, I say militia line, militia line, militia line. We're not going to get that many of that out. Okay. Yeah, a bit of a gamble. But not if they're regiments of horse. Obviously, all my infantry are on the right flank. Jump on them. Get everyone over here. That's really bad. Regiment of Horse versus Militias, quite good. You men all jump on the first regiment, pull them off their horses as much as you can. Kill them quickly. All you men have to do is survive. Okay, you men form a front line. Because you guys at the very much will kill them fairly quickly. Because they're surrounded. They're utterly surrounded. Now they're broken. So drag down a handful more, most of you. And then drive on to here. You brave, brave boys. You guys form up on the front line as well. You, most of you might actually want to attack just to make sure that you really do drag them off their horses, but that's already looking a lot healthier. this Lanvin militia to push around the flank because part of the reason why these things why you definitely want to have them surrounded is that it just means that more of their cavalry are engaged in the fight at once which at best means you kill more of them quicker I mean it also means they might kill more of you quicker but I think part of the problem is that my line infantry all deployed as a coherent unit. But my line infantry will sweep away their line infantry. Their artillery appears not to be deployed. Okay, now it's deploying. Probably because it's got something to shoot at. Line infantry push the flank around that dug-in line infantry unit. My militia, their job is just to form a front line to begin engaging the enemy. 
I want this militia to back up my militia line. Because if they start to engage us... They've still got one, two, three units of cavalry. But I am relying on the first... The 2nd, 16th, and 17th regiments. Ooh. Okay, let's get another infantry unit here. Push up. I'm relying on you guys to engage the warband. I'm also relying on you guys doing some work. They're going to mass their volleys against the warband, except for you. Good, at least it'll destroy them quickly. Then they can reload and knock out the 18th. These guys are skirmishers, so they shouldn't hold out very long, even against militia. There you go. You guys can try and pick off some of the enemy cavalry for free. You men can also engage the 18th. Enemy general's been killed. Okay, now they're pushing forward. Enemy cavalry units being knocked out. Question is, is the cavalry's pretty darn effective if they're going to redeploy you men drop into square you men drop into square just in case one unit chugging out light, uh, fire by rank should still be pretty damn effective especially the provincial cavalry looks like it's going to mass on the flank and also leave their left flank exposed for my copious amounts of militia. Yep, it's another unit charge. You men form square as well. Cooperative squares are where it's at. Oh, some of these units won't have fire at will turned on. We broke the square here, so form square again. The 8th Regiment are wavering. The 5th Regiment are wavering. Good. There goes their other cavalry unit. Okay, you men form square. Because they'll probably want to try again. Oh no, they've broken. Let's see you men form. Form line. Engage the enemy. Because now they're being hit by militia fire from too many directions at once. They have no bayonets either, which is good to know. Okay, right. Cavalry units back. Drop into square. Lots of wavering chaps. There we go. Perfect. There we go. The enemy cavalry units broken again. Form line to engage the 18th. New men form slightly smaller ranks. You men push up, see if your arcs can actually get to the 18th now. Part of the reason why I was so keen to have my line stretched out more like a line was that it could keep pecking away at the enemy troops. Although the 18th will probably break fairly soon. And yep, yeah, there they go. If we had cavalry, we'd mow you down. But we don't. Nice. See you later, Poland. Back to Breslau with ye.
yeah, that wasn't much more than a spoiling attack. Yeah. Withdraw 700 to replenish. That's not enough to fully replenish them, but should get some extra reinforcements from Munich next turn. You guys have helped keep this area safe. To be honest, these units may, if Austria gets his finger, pulls its finger out, we might push on and take Breslau. And we actually have our shipyard, but I doubt they're going to let us have too much trade. Okay, so one more turn to social contract, which is great. Then they might go on to socket bayonet, maybe, maybe one of these religious. Uh, probably maybe go back to common land enclosures. Until Berlin gets their school. So it's going to be a bit of a bummer. Having to deal with the unhappiness. But I'm hoping while the while it, the turns tick by for them to build the school, they will slowly become more comfortable with us being their... Uh, us being their uh, dominant power. Another Polish force is pushing up. Okay. And another. Ooh, they've got close to Saxony. Okay, I need to start pulling troops out of... Okay, I'm not going to ally with you anymore, Marathas. You always break your alliances, and I get it. But I'm not going to expose myself to that level of risk for nothing. Barbary states are going to Barbary. Pirates are going to pirate. 58 hundo, that's pretty good. So. Let's. Okay. Let's see what I can pull out of. Minus two is okay. I might build, upgrade you to a coaching in. Send some cavalry down to try and rapidly reinforce. Repair the shipyard. Get our who's to build a sloop to garrison it. We need to be careful with Poland. I might have to build a drill school in Berlin, because Berlin's the one we'll tr we will try and defend. Push comes to shove, fundamentally. Why not even fight in this battle? We probably will, actually, because... Stanislaw Pontiowski's force looks depleted already. You may get a garrison here. Although you guys actually are in pretty good nick and are going to go here. Defend Prague. You men go here. Actually, you're okay there. Ugh, maybe more like here. Ugh. Maybe stand here between both. We don't know where you're going to go. I'm quite happy that they're depleted. Actually, you're in good you're in good shape. Should okay. Should really try to get someone into this force here, but now we've got you guys nearby, they shouldn't take Prague. Got the iron workshops done, which is great. We've also got social contract, so you are instead gonna go for Pass furnace would be good. So would measuring tools actually. Four turns plus ten percent wealth generated by industrial buildings and plus eight percent bonus to town wealth from all buildings, which is huge. So Berlin's currently minus two. I was hoping that we might start to get some religious happiness. Then again, we don't have many Catholics in the region. Do I exempt them from tax? 4,700. No, I don't. Did France boot us out from trade? No, they didn't. Okay, that's pretty good. So we've got Prague defended. Got a force here ready to defend. Because I don't want to push them too far north, because you guys might just switch their target. Well, if you go here, it doesn't make a difference. I thought they might get within range of Dresden. Um, okay, let's spend the last bit of cash we've got replenishing these two units. Let's 
See, it makes me very... Ooh, good on Britain. It makes me very uncomfortable seeing the AI go to ports. Or, you know, to see combinations of uh, infantry and ships in one area. Now I have a coastline. Like that. I don't like that one bit. Especially as I'm at war with Britain. That's really bad. Were they to land on our shores, I would not be able to stop them. Okay, good. They've pulled back, knowing they can't actually hit us. Ah, oh, the moment I take my eye off the ball at Vienna and they lose Hungary at the same time. My god. After all that. After all that. Hmm. Things looking very dicey on the Eastern Front. Very dicey indeed. Let's see if I can try and make peace with Britain. You want Saxony? No, but what if I give you two lovely grand? No, I'm not going to give you Saxony. Right. So you down here are not as useful now. Although Vienna's going to rebel. So that's going to keep them tied up for a few turns. You men push on south. We've got the school. So let's get Wismar on to common land enclosures. Or maybe spinning Jenny. Hmm. Probably the farming tech, I'd say. Okay, you men push down to Franz Friedland. So suddenly you're looking like quite a dangerous force here. You're going to try and protect Prague, because that's all of Austria's territory now. That's all they've got. Okay, I want to upgrade some mines. Because I need cash. Then Mark should get a bit happier now. I've got a, a coaching in on the way. Let's begin replenishing the army here. Let's not recruit anything yet. Again, it would be nice to try and knock out the, uh, the Dutch, but that's not going to happen, it would appear. Can't really do anything. Infiltrate Breslau. See what they got. So in terms of an army, we have lots of line infantry, but now we've got fire by rank. That's good. It will be better as we expand our trade empire. It won't be so good when we lose Austria, because we should probably get a good amount of trade from them. Oh, 800. I mean, it really, this really doesn't help. Denmark, 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 Denmark. Request peace. No, I'm not going to give you Saxony. I want to see someone go take out that Danish fleet, because if they did, we'd have all that sweet, sweet trade income. Come on, Sweden, this is exactly why you want to be allied with Sweden. If you can't help me in a fight against the Danes, then what good are you? Poland's coming to steal my tech. I mean, the Ottomans are a huge concern. If they'd push to... Like, look at that. Like, they, they've got a good amount of troops. I'm not interested in an alliance with you, Marathas. You're useless to me. Okay. The rake at Württemberg, so let's get our rake. Stay in Vienna. Got Weaver's Cottage, and we've got a coaching inn in Denmark. So you guys should be okay with us. Our spy can get to Hungary from Copenhagen. You need to stay like this for a turn. Our economy's not going so well. Let's try to get a Royal Observatory. Should we be taxing you? Yeah, we are. Oh, they broke the coaching in, that's why. 
Let's not build anything there yet, then. Okay, let's upgrade this steam pumped iron mine. Two turns to get measuring tools. Trade agreement cancelled with France for some unknown reason. Especially if they're friendly with us. I'm going to offer technology and I'm going to want two grand for it. No more trade spinning, Jenny. Well, I don't want to give you money. Let's just straight trade. Good. Because at the least, the very least, spinning Jenny gets me you know, a bonus, a bonus to textile wealth. Not that I've got much textile wealth. I've got one here at Hamburg, but that's about it. Oh, no, Potsdam. Oh, that is useful. Thirty-five hundred next turn. Right. Yeah, they could now march towards Munich. But I should get a fairly steady garrison there, as it is my capital. Poland is gathering their strength once more. Okay, they're pushing forward to their own territories. I may... Ooh, withdraw. I had, I kind of had to do that. I will counter siege it though, because we've got some. Those dragoons have, have, are going to come up to the front line now. I mean, Austria is now dead. Not a lot I could do about that. I did what I could to save them, but it wasn't enough. The terrors of Eastern Europe. I think the thing to keep an eye on. Oh, actually, that doesn't mean I can't. I can now no longer send troops to Munich because they will be sieging Prague. Yeah, we've got these. Oh, we've got you actually. Siege the city. Don't necessarily take it. Just siege the city. Put them under siege. So now you go. Okay. Ah, oh, we have Danish rebels. Well, you guys just take them out. Just take him out. Okay, go, get back into here. So you guys are going to take... Okay. Let's combine some of these units because fundamentally we haven't got the budget to replenish all of you anyway. So let's pick three of you. Actually, I could probably recruit, replenish you all now. Now I've done some regrouping. It's not a bad little garrison, that. And the main thing is now getting troops to help us here. So you're sieging there. You... Okay, Berlin can get some extra troops. Get a unit of Freikorps. Just try and boost your garrison a bit. Try and get a spy into Zagreb. But what I'm hoping... Is that Poland is at war? Oh, they aren't. They're trading with Russia. That's not good. Let's see if we can peace and trade with Poland. Nope. Again, I'm kind of concerned that they're not. They're going to see me as a their preferred enemy, if you like. Which isn't going to be good. Not good at all. be good if the Ottomans started to... Oh, okay. Uh, so we're now under attack from a force from Denmark, finally. But we have a couple of infantry units. We've got some cavalry. We've got an artillery piece. I think we're pretty good. Especially against such a large unit of conscripts. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the defense of Cologne against our old enemy. If nothing else, I want to try and kill that general. Radio. See you around, guys.